Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today's topic is another use case on DAX where we will find the best day sales. What does it mean? On which day I have the best day? I can see the best or the highest sales happen on a daily basis. And which is that day? Something like that we need to find out. Okay. So here basically let me take a table here. So before taking that, I just introduced you to my model. So very basic model only. I think be complicated here. So I have my sales table. I have my customer. I have my product and the date continues and all are one to one relationship, right? So here I will take first my product name. Okay. I took my product name here. All right. That's good. Now again, I will take my total sales. So total sales is nothing. It's just a sum of sales only. Okay, nothing complicated on this. So I will get my total sales here. Okay, that's fine. So this is my total sale and this is my product. Now to get the best day sales. So best day, like which is the day uh, the best on my company where the maximum sales happened, right? So to identify that, first of all, we need to calculate the daily sales first, the average daily sales, because I need to take my data to daily level. From there only I can calculate the which is the best day. Okay. So for that, I need to calculate first measure, which is nothing but my average daily sales. Okay. Average daily sales. Okay, so let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so the formula would be my average X because I need to calculate on each row on a daily basis, right? So what I will take, I will take values of date and date, continuous date because I want to calculate the sales for each day. So there is a date column here. Okay, make sure that then what I need to take total sales and from that only the average will be calculated. So this is the formula always whenever you are calculating the daily something like average, right? So you need to take the first the continuous date and based on the total sales. So it will be take the average here. Okay. Enter. Okay. So this is my average sales now. So this is average sales. What does it mean? So this product total sales is this much but that average daily daily it is selling this much of amount the average one okay now we need to calculate the on which day this makes the sales happen or the best day of my sales max okay so before doing that first of all i will explain you how we will take in this approach right? how to find out the best day so first of all i will create a table so just i will show you step by step approach that how to proceed on this so let's start with a very basic table where I will keep my the day, the na day name, okay, which day name and along with the average daily sale. So I will create a two column uh, table where I will keep the day name and my average daily sales, which I calculated just now. Okay. So what does it mean? Let's go to the date table here. So I have a uh, column called day name. Okay. Day name and my average daily sales these two column i will create a table first okay so let's create a table that i will uh, after this i will delete it because just i do test it out then i will put this formula into the measure itself so test table okay test table since i want to create two columns right i can have multiple options but i will use the summarize option here summarize what i will do I'll summarize the date table okay what i will take from here I'll take the day name and I will take my average daily sales. Okay. Uh, sorry. First, I need to give the name, right? So I need to give say ABG daily sales. This is the heading. Then I can say average daily sales. So this is my two tables columns. Column of two tables. Now you got it that this is my average, right? And these are the days which are uh, getting like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, all these things. Okay. Now 
the next would be once you got this table right from here take the top one first one the top one okay which is the top uh, average daily sales here that i will take it from there i will calculate the max and i will get the name. so something like that that's the formula so this is quite important okay so now let's take this to your measure so which measure i will calculate now i will calculate new measure as my best day okay so whatever i paste it i will paste it here on top of that i will take top n okay top n there will be multiple parameters which will be there so i will take the first value and second one is the table table is nothing but the summarize is already providing me the table right so this is the one hmm? okay now i will that's it i will close my sorry so i will close my top end okay and uh, then on top of this i will do a max x so i will take the max x from that okay so this is my max x and completely max x first it will provide you the table so this this uh, the top pen whatever you are doing it it will provide a table and once it is satisfied to me what expression i want to get i want to get the day name okay now i will close this part so just see that okay so this part is something like it is creating a table of the day name and the average daily sales which you calculated from here i am taking a top first the top top one okay and from there i am taking the max x to display my day name okay and okay so now i am putting the best day here so as the sample data right everything is coming friday 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 but anyway this is the sample data all the all the transaction happened on the friday but this is the way you will get like which day your best day the solution okay so this is the solution first we need to get the average daily sales okay then on top of that this is the formula you need to write so to and this is really helpful to find out that uh, business can say that okay friday is my my sales is very happening very frequently why it is or other day why it is not happening so they can uh, took their decision based on that so this is one of the good example which you can help you to the business hope you like this video do subscribe to this channel for more contents uh, on different subjects tax power bi data modeling and we'll start slowly start with the playlist also okay uh, related to the power bi project oriented and there will be another playlist related to the tax all the functionality uh, i will create the playlist okay thank you and uh, bye bye